everyone is expecting the Kansas City Chiefs to get back to their rightful spot in the Super Bowl as a Super Bowl contenders and championship contenders next season. The Chiefs have gone at least as far as the AFC title game over the past three years and have gone to the Super Bowl the past two years, but that could be coming to an end. And the reason that I think that that is possible is because I think at this point, the Kansas City Chiefs, their their dynasty, quote unquote, isn't over. I'm not saying that they still might make the Super Bowl this year. But what I'm saying is it's going to be especially harder for them to, to do that this year than it ever has been before. And the primary reason for that is because of these deep runs in the playoffs that they've had so far. Now, we've seen it with other teams as well. When teams go deep into the playoffs year in, year out, it is hard to maintain that consistency for more than about four or five years, right? And they're going into their fourth year of doing this. Uh, if you look at, you know, the original Patriots dynasty, they, like they made the Super Bowl, uh, what was it, three or four years, and then they kind of had a little bit of a time where they would, okay, they would make it to maybe the divisional round AFC championship game. They'd be one and done the playoffs. And then they had their second dynasty um, with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. But there's always in that fourth or fifth year, there always comes a time where the team not necessarily takes a step back, but doesn't meet those very high expectations of making the Super Bowl or making the NFC or the title game. Uh, and then it all comes down to after you go on so many runs, after you go so deep in the playoff all these times, eventually it catches up with your team. Eventually, your team is is your, your team gets tired. Teams get tired, players get tired, um, and it's just hard to really keep up that consistency year in year out without having uh, a little bit of a step, taking a little bit of a step back. Um, look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, who dominated in the mid-2000s for a little bit, and then they petered out. Their, their injuries, you had you know them playing kind of down their competition before going on some more playoff runs later on. It, it, it happens to all of the great teams. The Seahawks as well, who, a lot of people thought they were going to go in a dynasty, and they did. They went to, what was it, two or three straight NFC title games, uh, two straight Super Bowls, and then took a little bit of a step back. And it is very hard to maintain that level of consistency. We have almost never really seen a team dominate, unless you count like the New England Patriots, the second New England Patriots dynasty. That was probably the best we've ever seen. But because they made multiple Super Bowls, multiple AFC Championship games, they were in it every single year. But I think it's, I think it gets harder at this point than it was when you originally came in because there's, there's the thing about injuries the season is now longer they added an extra game the the bye week the, the the bye weeks are limited too in the playoffs because only one team in each conference gets a bye week you also have the fact that after going on these deep playoff runs man what's the wear and tear on the bodies of some of these players going to be um you also have the fact that teams traditionally are a lot more dangerous when like in their first few years that they come to prominence than they are, you know, after like they've dominated the league for a few years because people figure out players to an extent. People understand, okay, what does this player like? What are these players not like? And it's not just Pat Mahomes because it's hard to figure out Pat Mahomes. It's nearly impossible, you could say, uh, unless even when you get pressure on Mahomes, you, we saw what he did in that Super Bowl. It was crazy what he, the, some of the things he was doing. But I think that the Kansas City Chiefs are in danger, honestly, of disappointing and not meeting those expectations because of all of these factors that I've listed out. And I'm not saying, oh, well, you know, oh, they're gonna, they're not gonna make the playoffs. No, they're gonna make the playoffs. They're gonna win their division, but they're not going to do it in the same way that they've done it in years past. I think you're gonna see this team be a little more fatigued than they were. They're gonna see some more injuries. And some, and it's gonna be like a lot of like weird conditional injuries, or you're gonna see a lot of, uh, you know, and, and and sometimes I think they're just gonna be gassed. I legitimately think that because we've seen it maintaining that level of consistency. I say it to all blue in the face. It's difficult, um, and I I I think it's gonna allow other teams too be, uh, to come into prominence because we have a lot of other good teams in the AFC. The AFC might be 
it is definitely the the better of the two conferences, and it's the most competitive. We saw a ten uh, win team last year in a seven game or a seven team playoff. A ten win team in a seven team playoff scenario not make the playoffs. That's how good the AFC was last year. So. The Chiefs, for them, if they maintain that level of consistency going into this year and going into next year as well, I'll eat my hat. But I think that this year, like, it's possible that they could go as far as the divisional round and be knocked off. This is when they're at their most vulnerable. When they've gone, uh, when they've gone the farthest you can go year in and year out, and they've dominated for so long, eventually, eventually, there's going to be someone to knock them off that pedestal. The only question is, what is that team going to be? And are the Chiefs up to actually, you know, overcoming those odds? Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.